Okay, so how do you catch a rocket? Why, why would you want to catch a rocket? Dave, I don't live next to NASA. I don't live next to where they shoot off rockets. Thank you for that question, and I hope you have a better day. No matter whether you live close to where they launch rockets or not, same principle can be applied to other long shutter required shots. Now, like you, you think about fireworks, sparklers, where people can draw with light, either their sparklers or glow sticks. The first thing you'll need is a tripod because this picture needs to be stabilized. Next, you will need a camera that will allow you to adjust the shutter speed manually and a wide angle lens to make sure you capture the entire shot. Third, you will need a way to remotely control your shutter. Now you can purchase one of those off of Amazon, but in my case, I can remotely control my camera with my cell phone. What's that last thing? What's that last thing that we need? What is it? Oh yeah, you're gonna need a rocket. So you just pick one of those up at Walmart. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is adjust your main setting here. You change it from whatever it is. Now I normally shoot manual and then change it over to the B or the bulb setting. And that will allow you to be able to use a longer shutter speed. It will let you manually control your shutter. As you can see here, we've already got the, the bulb setting right here indicated because that will allow us to control our shutter speed for an extended amount of time. The next thing we want to do is change our aperture. Now, you might think that having a wider aperture is better. However, remember, we are only capturing the light of the object, whether it be a rocket, a firework, or a sparkler even. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to change that to an f11 okay. again we're wanting to focus on that singular form of light so we're going to reduce the sensitivity of our sensor here to an iso 100. as always we're going to shoot in raw gives us more flexibility in the editing we already have it set to manual focus because we don't want it recalibrating as it goes along. We want to set the focus. We have a large enough aperture to be able to capture the depth of uh, what we need. And then I have to change it over to a two second delay and that will allow me to be able to use my remote trigger. And I'll just hit the shutter, let it stay open for as long as I want, and then it's done. So those are your settings, bulb setting, F11, ISO 100, raw, two second delay, and manual focus. Now this is a result of one of the shots here. This is a SpaceX launch earlier of 2022. And one thing about my lens, I don't know what it is, but it tends to create a starburst with the moon. But as you can see, all the other lights are pretty much in focus and well-defined. And again, if you notice at the base of the launch, at the horizon, that it's more intense because there's more light being captured at that moment than as it does as it flies away to the southeast. And that's another important thing you need to know, which direction is the launch going to go so you can make sure you're pointed in that general direction that's why this is more in the center of the frame when I went to sell this at the art fair I recropped it so that it was more of a vertical photo and it was a little bit more pleasing to the eye and adhering to the rule of thirds this is the same picture I've zoomed in on it now you can see that there's what looks like dust particles but it's actually streaks of light now that could be a plane it could be stars anything that's in the night sky now normally with a rocket launch there's not too many things flying behind the of rockets there but you can fix this with Lightroom or Photoshop but I prefer to leave it in there because that's what was there at the time and so in effect we're stopping time for that moment and if it was really drastic I might do something about it but these are not as noticeable and not that distracting so here's one of my favorite ones it's actually the second time I went out to take a launch photo and you can see here I again vertically cropped this so that it would be a little bit more pleasing to the eye and you'll see that the rocket is actually going to the northeast this time. So it's very important to know which direction your rocket's going to take off or your fireworks are going to fly in any case. If you have been able to benefit at all from this video, please let us know. Comment down below and give us a like. Appreciate it. And as always...
challenge yourself every day to become a better photographer. Be strong. Be strong.